Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to add a drop down menu here in Wix. We're going to look at that for the desktop version and also for the mobile version. Let's hop into the editor of your site. Up here, we have the navigation. So that's where our menu is going to be. On the very left hand side, we have pages and menu. We can click that to pop open the site pages and the menu structure. So this is the site menu here in the order that you have them dragged around. Now to do this, there's two different options. Number one is the main element of your drop-down menu uh, before the drop-down can be clickable or not clickable. So we can make a drop-down menu based on a page that you can actually navigate to, or we can do a drop-down menu based on a folder of pages. In the lower part of this dialog box, you have add a page. So you could add that main page or use an existing one. We also have this here, which is submenu title. So we could just give it a title. For instance, I could call this work. We'll pretend like we're adding a portfolio here. So when I hit done on this, you can see it shows a little bit different than these page icons. This is just a folder and it won't actually be clickable, but it will be a drop down to other pages. This is one way to do it. The other way is you could select a page that says work. So you create that page and then we put pages under it. Either way that works exactly the same. Now though, we do need to add a couple pages to put underneath here inside of our drop down menu. So we'll go down to add page. I'm just going to add a blank page. So we've got this blank page out here. We title it. I'm going to title it um, graphic design. So this would be maybe the graphic design part of our portfolio. Hit done. We're going to add some contents to this section just by going over here to add section. And then I'm going to select a basic text section like this first one here click on it and then we could just literally edit the text. So I'm going to make sure we put a header out here so we can tell that we are navigating between these different pages. And this one's going to be graphic design, just like that. Okay. So we have our graphic design page. We can go back to the menu and then to connect this to the work dropdown, we can click and drag it below work and then drag it to the right a little bit and it will link it under there. So now this is a child of this parent work dropdown menu. And then we can add another page and we'll call this page social media, for instance. So we'll just call this social media. Since we had graphic design selected here in the pages uh, tab over here, it actually just put this in the menu. So that's fine. We'll hit done and then we will just add a design section make it this guy right here, same one. And we'll just do the exact same thing. We'll call this one social media. For whatever reason, that first S there is a little tall. And then we'll change the font to this DIN font that I had. So now if we go back to pages and menu, we've got work and then graphic design and social media. And then you can see that work is what appears in our menu in our navigation. So we're going to preview this. And as we preview, you can see that when I hover over work, this drop down menu appears graphic design, social media. We can click on graphic design, it navigates us to that. Same thing, social media navigates to that. Work is not clickable because, like I said, we created basically a folder, an unclickable element that drops the menu down. Now, personally, I don't think I would create that. I would want everything to have a page. Um, just like these have pages, just like you can click to about, I think it's weird that you can't click on work. Like work should be maybe a collection of all the different categories that then you could navigate to and also a drop down menu. Let's go back to the editor and check just how this appears on mobile real quick. So we have our desktop view right here and we also have switched to mobile view. And so we've got this mobile menu up here, which of course we can customize. But if we preview really quick, we can see inside of here, as we drop this down, we have a mobile menu that pops out from the left and we have work here that we can click on, or you would be tapping on it on your phone and it drops down that menu again. And it's got a little plus icon. Now, of course you could, this menu doesn't look great. These shouldn't be black, but we can stylize any of that back in the editor. The editor is pretty cool because you can edit both a desktop view and a mobile view. So any edits we make here are actually going to change only for the mobile view. You can click on this. Here's mobile menus. Customizing the design actually pops out um, the menu. And then we have all these different options here as far as color, menu background. So we could change the menu background, the button background. We have icon background. We can make those white. 
any of the text. We have some different text colors here. So you can change any of these things right through here. And if you don't like the menu background, you could always change that to like a gray or anything like that. You can change how it opens and closes. But this is a drop down tutorial. So let's X out of this and go back to our desktop view. And then we're going to go back to our pages in menu. And for instance, we could add another page in here and we could call this page work, right? And then this page would be, if we add a section here, it would simply be all of the different elements. Um, let's say, we'll just call it portfolio on this page, right? Portfolio. Change our little font size here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so portfolio. Now we go back to pages and menu. And instead of having this be a folder, we could click and drag these underneath this page. Then we could just simply delete this guy right here. And so now we don't have the folder anymore. We actually have a work page that says portfolio on it and then have these menus or these elements in the menu underneath. These pages are underneath work. And you can toggle this down. Any of these sort of drop down menus that are parented with sub items, you can toggle them so you don't have to see all the sub items at once. Now, one more thing here before we uh, before we get out of this tutorial. If I preview this again, you might notice that the um, styling of the menu might be different than what you want. And so you could go back to the editor and you can click on this navigation area. And of course, click this little design button. Inside of here is your basic menu design. But then when we go into customize design and fill color and opacity, we actually have some menu background. So we can change that background color or have it be completely transparent. In this case, since it doesn't bump anything down on my page, I do want a background, but I would rather it be the same background. So I'd rather go with white and hit exit, exit, and then go preview that. And so now instead of that gray, it actually is white, which I think kind of extends the menu background color of this sort of white. It's probably transparent, but this section is white. So now it kind of just extends down over the top of whatever there is. So we could click on work. It goes through portfolio. We click on graphic design. So graphic design page, social media, social media page. And so that is really quick and easy way of how to add a drop down menu here in Wix. Let me know if you have any questions down below.